fear God not people. So don't be afraid of those people. Everything that is hidden will be shown. Everything that is a secret will be made known. I tell you those things in the dark, but uh, I want you to tell those things in the light. I speak the things quietly and only to you, but uh, you should tell those things freely to all the people. Don't be afraid of the people. They can only kill the body. They cannot kill the soul. The only one you should fear is the one that can destroy the body and the soul. He can send the body and the soul to the hell. When beds are sold, two small beds cost only a pain. But not even one of those little beds can die without your father knowing it. God even knows how many hairs are on your head. So don't be afraid. You are worth much more than many beds. As the scripture say, the scripture tell us uh, to not afraid of the people. You have to afraid the, the only one who created you. God says, if I reveal a message to you, don't hide it. You have to tell people my revelation. We are as a, the instrument of God. God revealed the message to us through dreams, vision, and a voice. He told Jeremiah, Tell the people whatever I tell you to tell them. Go wherever I tell you to go. Do whatever I tell you to do. Remember, when uh, you are a, a worker of uh, the Lord Almighty, don't be afraid of the people. Remember, they will hurt you while you tell them the true message. It's normal in life. Hear this story. Once there was a young prophet. God sent him to deliver a message to the king. And uh, the young prophet went. The condition was to not eat whenever they could give him food. The younger prophet arrived at the king's palace. And uh, he ended up delivering the message. Then uh, the king begged to eat with him. The young prophet refused, saying, God didn't allow me to eat. He told me to deliver a message and go home without eating in the streets or in any house. The king understood. Then when the young prophet was coming back, he met with an old prophet. And the knowledge prophet tricked him, saying, God told me to prepare food for you. He 
it was a trick. But uh, the young prophet has, he trusted the old one. He accepted. Then uh, the old prophets cooked food for him. And uh, they ate. When they finished to eat, the old prophets reminded him again. God told you to not eat food anywhere until you arrive in your house. Why did you eat here? Oh, the young prophet regretted why he disobeyed God. Then uh, God decided to kill him. It was like that. The young prophets went home. Around the way, he met a lion, and the lion killed him. Then the passengers they found him laying on the ground. But this lion didn't kill, didn't eat him, even a donkey, but uh, it killed him. Remember now, this uh, message, has uh, you mean to be a prophet or a messenger of the Lord? This is a helpful message to you. Whenever they tell you a message with the conditions, you have to respect everything said. Knowing how to work with God, it's not easy. But as a trained one, you have to understand carefully. Don't hesitate any message from the heaven as if as you know how to control messages. As if as you know exactly whom is working with you or whom is using you. That's it. Let's come back to the scripture of Matthew. Matthew chapter 10, starting at, from verse 26 to 31. It said, Don't be afraid of those people. Memorize that scripture. Don't be afraid of those people. You can hesitate to deliver a message because you are afraid of the people thinking of being hated, being destroying. But the one who sent you to deliver a message, he know exactly what is going to happen. Then it focus in what he's telling you. That's it. Understand this correction and do better work. The wish of God. Let's help each other to light the world. In the name of Christ Jesus of Nazareth. That is a message. And a helpful one. Understand it. 
Amen.